Hi. <laughs> Chaos. Today has been chaos. I'm finally gonna share with you my uh, no added sugar sweet recipes because some of you, after I made that video, a lot of people were asking for like dessert recipes. So I'm finally gonna do that. <laughs> I know it's been forever. These are basically gonna be like little sweet snacks. Some of them with the exception of one, I think actually all of them with the exception of one contain dairy. If you're vegan, you may have to find substitutes. This might not be super helpful for you, uh, but whatever. I, I don't know, disclaimer. Uh, the first one is what I refer to as my cherry cordial smoothie. <laughs> so it is dark sweet cherries, cacao powder, organic cacao powder, liquid stevia, I get the vanilla kind, faye, <laughs> uh, just basically like plain Greek yogurt. I get the zero uh, fat one or whatever. Vanilla extract, I use whatever milk, 2% whole milk. We've stopped buying whole milk because my boyfriend made me stop. Uh, but whatever milk, basically. I don't know why there's a... Oh, you know what? When I used to do this and I had the whole milk, I would wa I would use a little bit of water. I would water it down slightly. That's why the Brita is there. <laughs> I was like, why is there a Brita here? So basically, like, as far as amounts goes, I just kind of, like, eyeball it. Like, I have no measurements. This is not a specific measurement at all. I just kind of dump some cherries in, dump some yogurt in. As far as the vanilla and stevia goes, like, just preference. And obviously you don't have to use stevia. I know like the idea of stevia really grosses a lot of people out in high, in like large quantities. I think it tastes like shit, but um, I don't really use that much in my smoothies. And also like the, the cherries themselves are pretty sweet. It's just kind of counterbalancing the um, sour taste of the plain Greek yogurt. So it's not even really necessary. It depends on like how sweet you want it to be. You also don't have to use cherries by the way. Like this recipe would go really well with like banana, if that's your vibe. I'm not like huge on bananas. And then I'll use this guy, the, uh, what is it called? The Nutribullet? I'll use that if I wanna make like a smoothie, but I have the big one that you can see, the attachment, which has like the intense blades. So if I want it to be thicker, like if I wanna make something that's like more ice cream like, then I'll use that because then I'll just, I can use like less milk and it's not as intense. Like you can't really use less milk in the Nutribullet type situation. Is that what it's called? I think it is. You can get away with making more like, um, like of a frozen yogurt or, not, or an ice cream in like the large Ninja. Uh, and that is just like, honestly, I've been relying on it a little too heavily because I'm still trying to get over my like added sugar addiction. I've been making a lot of those like frozen yogurts and it's like so delicious, like so good. Uh, but I basically just use like the exact same ingredients, maybe just like a little bit more and less milk. Oh, did I not show? me putting the chocolate in. I just do like two big scoops of, I guess I didn't show it, that's very weird. I do two big scoops of the uh, cacao powder basically. Um, and that's it. So, I mean, it's up to you like how chocolatey you want it to be. Okay, next up is a yogurt. So once again, I use that, the Faye, plain Greek yogurt. And then some kind of fruit, I like strawberries the most, but they've been kind of like, blah ever since winter. And then I use the same like vanilla extract and liquid steve vanilla liquid stevia. This is the best brand in my in my opinion, the Amica, Amica organic liquid stevia. I got it at Erewhon. I have another one right now that's like, it just doesn't taste like anything. I feel like I have to use so many drops of it. It's very annoying. Uh, so this is the best one in my opinion. I love a, I love like a little bit of a crunch. So I'm toasting pecans. That's like probably one of my favorite nuts to put in this kind of thing. Uh, so you gotta toast your pecans, man. Like raw, nah, toasted. And I literally just put like naked pecans in the oven. I think at like 400 for, I actually have no idea. You can Google it. I usually just kind of like go by feel, like I'll smell them, <laughs> you know? But it, it can't be more than like a few minutes, like five to seven minutes maybe. Kind of depends on how many you're toasting at once. And this also, no measurements zero measurements, okay? I eyeball it, I use my I use my heart, I go by my heart. Um, I decided to add some banana, which is actually kind of nice. It cr makes it a little bit sweeter. So I just chopped up some bananas. Um, I've seen these like banana split, bl banana split recipes where you like take a banana and cut it like the long way in half and then use like a little bit of like, it's basically the same thing. It's just like a little bit of yogurt in the middle, top it with like berries, nuts, maybe granola, whatever. Uh, I just don't like using granola because it usually has added sugar in it. So you just kind of have to be careful of the ingredients. And then once my pecans are toasted, I'll just crush them up a little bit. Well, once they're like cooled down a bit, uh, I'll just crush them on top and then top it off with a little bit of cinnamon. 
So for me, uh, my like my sugar cravings or my like sweet cravings start after breakfast. So I usually have like scrambled eggs and stuff after breakfast. What? For breakfast. And then after that, for whatever reason, my brain is always like, you need to end on a sweet. You have to end on a sweet. So once I have that meal, this tiny little yogurt, cause like I use a small bowl. It's a little bit of yogurt. It's kind of a little bit of like everything. It's satisfying without being like way too much, you know, like it's not like a gigantic portion. I have bowls that are even smaller than this that are probably like this big, that sometimes if I'm just like craving a sweet, like a sweet snack, but I'm not exactly like super hungry, I'll just put like a tiny, like tiny bits of all of that stuff in this little bowl. And it's just like satisfying. It satisfies that craving without being like ice cream or like a candy bar or I don't know, whatever. The next one is one of my favorite desserts. It's like pretty much how I end almost every single night. Uh, the cherry cordial one, I've been doing a lot more recently because it's sweeter. And like I said, I don't know, I'm kind of like, I've been craving ice cream, but this one is my go-to for like dessert after dinner. Um, and it is an apple with ricotta cheese and cinnamon. Super simple. I use the honey crisp apples because they're a little bit more sweet and also like nice and crisp. Basically I just chop up an apple, top it with ricotta as much as you, or as little as you want, and then top it with cinnamon. Simple. Uh, I'm not super big on adding things like pecans to this one, but because it's just, it's so pure the way it is. It's just like so pure. The texture is perfect. The crunch of the apple, the softness of the ricotta and the ricotta basically just tastes like whipped cream. Like it's delicious. I love it. Uh, and then the cinnamon adds like a little bit more, almost a little bit more of that sweetness. The one thing that I would recommend you avoid is the cinnamon, Celion cinnamon, which has a little bit more of almost a nutmeggy kind of taste. And it doesn't add to like the, um, to the sweetness at all. It kind of like neutralizes it a little bit, which I don't like. I literally have accidentally bought like three of them. And every time I smell it, I'm like, Ugh. It, it's like the big red gum flavor where it's more like spicy. I do not like that. So if you're trying to keep it sweet, avoid that one. It's like C-E-L-O-Y, C-E-Y, something like that. I don't know, but it's no good. Don't like it. Those are relatively quick. The last one I don't have any footage for, and I don't know if I'll be able to take because I don't have any yams, but I wanted to share this with you. Yams are very high in sugar themselves, but they're a really good carb that like, I don't know, people say they're healthy, like whatever. I'm not gonna pretend that I'm a nutritionist, but as far as like energy goes and all that kind of stuff, if you're looking for something that's like very sweet, yams, Delish. This is also like the perfect time of year for yams, bro. Like yams, butternut squash, they're killing it right now. So my recipe is, I think I just Googled it, honestly, like how to roast yams, sweet potatoes. So I just peel them, chop them up into like, I guess one inch cubes. It kind of depends on your oven and also how you like them. So you might have to make them a few times to decide. But then what I'll do is drizzle them. You need to use enough oil, okay? so that they like get crispy on the outside because otherwise they're gonna like just not be good. But you need, I use avocado oil, drizzle avocado oil. Avocado oil is a great neutral oil because it goes with everything. Like it's not like olive oil where it's gonna make it taste kind of weird because like olive oil has a very specific taste. Avocado oil just goes with everything. So avocado oil. Then once again, cinnamon, douse that in cinnamon. Mix it all up on like a baking sheet or whatever set it to 425 for 15 minutes. Sometimes I do 16, depends on your oven again. Then flip with a spatula, mix them up a little bit, put them back in another 15, 16 minutes. Again, depending on how many you're making, how like the state of your oven. I feel like if I'm using like a big ass baking sheet for like me and my boyfriend, I'm probably using like two yams and they, they fill the baking sheet with like a little bit of space between them. And then that's about how long I'll bake them for. And then if they don't seem like they're, like I'll, I'll kind of press at them. If they're not like super soft enough on the inside or crispy on the outside, I'll just give them another toss and maybe a few more minutes, you know? But those, once again, super, like super sweet. It literally tastes like French toast. Like it's so delicious, so good. And when I'm like super craving something like really wholesome, something really filling, that's also gonna be sweet. Uh, especially like after days when I have like a really big workout, like I have a really big workout and then it's really cold outside. I'll treat myself to that after like having had breakfast earlier in the morning. It's just like wholesome and filling and all the things. I don't know.
Okay. She's got a drinking problem. Uh, that's literally it. I had four little recipes that I wanted to share with you. Those are my go-to like sweet snacks. I don't really have any other ones. I can say, uh, I can say my boyfriend likes to make a smoothie as well. He uses banana, peanut butter, um, milk, blueberries. That's his vibe. I'm not into it. Like I can appreciate it, but I'm not into it. Uh, but that's another option if you're, you know, the smoothies are a little bit easier to find like alternatives for as far as milk goes also. Like you can use almond milk, you could use oat milk, the cheeses and the yogurts a little bit more difficult. I mean, I don't know. Maybe yogurt is more assess accessible, but ricotta, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how it works, whatever. Anyway, those are my four recipes, my go-to sweet snacks that are rel like from easy to like a little bit more prep basically. Um, where you're getting natural sugar with fiber and vitamins and all those things. And hopefully they will help you to kind of like mitigate your refined sugar cravings. A little update from me personally, I have been able to cut added sugar for like a few weeks now at least, maybe it's been a month. I lose track of time, but I got addicted to this, <laughs> I got addicted to these chocolates from this brand called Choc Zero. Not sponsored, I like bought them myself. They're sweetened with monk fruit which if you have a lot of it, like all of those sugar replacements, except for stevia, stevia seems to be fine for me. Just like, fuck me up, bro. Like bloating, like fucking crazy. So you just can't have a lot of them. But if you're like, just looking for like something, like a chocolate that is like, just a little bit of a snack, just a little bit, you want like a couple of them, then you'll probably be fine. Choc Zero, it's like chocolate with, with sweetened with monk fruit. No erythritol, because I have a worse reaction to erythritol. Like the tiniest bit of that shit and it makes me feel like I'm gonna like, explode. Um, yeah, random. So that's it. A lot of you have been like leaving comments and being like, yo, where are the little recipes? So I want to throw them in here for you. Uh, hope it helps. If I come up with any, any new ones, I'll let you know. Yeah. Share some of your faves down below. You know, let's help each other out. Let's throw down some recipes. You know what I mean? Uh, and I hope everybody who is trying to cut added sugar out of their diet, I hope it's going well. It was a very, <laughs> it's been a long, journey for me. The, I was gonna say the second time around. I mean, not that there's like, I don't know, the, the millionth time around probably, uh, but we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. I'm feeling a little bit better. Okay. Skin's, skin's brightening a little bit. Okay. Uh, all right guys. Hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna go probably, actually I'm gonna eat some soup and then maybe have an apple. I don't know.